Previously on Save Like a Bear, this teeny tiny exploration seemed to motivate many of you story lovers. I love having studios pay for me to learn new things. I assume, like me, that you're curious about how the other half lives. If you can work out how someone else is doing the things you want to do, it follows that you two might get to do those things one day, preferably on your employer's dime or with the freedom to spend your own money on that priority without feeling like you need to do a cherry and rob a bank. I know that through that door is a couch with a television and a blanket. I'll get into the budget for Spider-Man 3 or No Way Home later, but Tom Holland has said it's the most ambitious standalone superhero movie ever made. Let me know if you can relate to this. I love entertainment and exploring why. It's an expensive industry as well as potentially an expensive hobby. Often what we consume leads to some inevitable comparison syndrome. It feels like you could never close the gap between yours and their experience and we completely skip over the question of whether our lifestyle needed improving in the first place. Our favourite superhero stories are about who we are without money and connections. Strongest version of yourself, here's yourself. Why do movies cost so much to make? Also, what can we take away productively from this so that it feels less like we'll never reach the finish line of someone who has more money and connections than we do? If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it. Or perhaps you're just here because you wanted more from Tom Holland, aka Peter Parker. Under ruse keeps gate crashing the party. We're having I try telling King Holly to leave, but it's no use. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Also, the kings around here seem to be multiplying. You are who you have with I guess. Let's examine anyway how to fracking achieve the exceptional when you don't think you're exceptional all via lessons from our favourite entertainers who've touched the burning flagpole first. Who said personal finance isn't fun? Welcome back subscribers to this whirly gig of fun or if you're new I only share my research and experiments for funsies so never take the launch pad of analysis on any of my YouTube channels or the podcast or blog etc as formal advice. Don't forget you can speed me up in the settings because I want you to save time and money because time travel is impossible. Let's think about the second tier of Maslow's hierarchy of needs and housing. I found a reddit post saying that it's Screen Actors Guild rules for studios to pay for first class travel and accommodation for actors. Now King Holly needs decent digs for two reasons. Obviously we're shooting at the moment and we have a slight, slightly strange work schedule. We work Wednesdays through Sundays mm -hmm. um, so obviously Monday and Tuesday is now being filled up with, with lots of work for Cherry. Many of us are working from home more. Holly's no different as his press interviews could only be conducted online. Hang on a Coco. Are you having a giraffe? I know what you're thinking. Obviously, Holly might still have some home comforts that you don't. In reality, it's a myth that bigger is always better. Is it? I don't know. That's what everyone's saying. Oh. Don't argue with me, Harry Styles, of all people. He's clearly a minimalist, like King Holly, because neither of them gets fully dressed half the time. But I repeat, bigger is not always better better. I mean, Tom Holland's only 5'7", apparently. 5'8", if he's wearing Yves Saint Laurent. He could probably bench press a small car, but that's a debate for another day. It's tricky if you're not living alone, but if working from home is distracting or depressing, you might benefit from reorganising the space instead. Standard, just because this is never going to work, there's no need to be negative. Bear, wake up. This is an eroder. This is real life. Trust me, I wouldn't suggest this if I hadn't tested this myself. Before I bought my first house, I assumed I'd need at least three bedrooms to fit all my belongings left over from shopping addictions. And that's before dreaming about a study, a podcasting studio, and a dedicated room for filming and editing. What are you laughing at? I challenged myself to buy smaller instead, and I've been able to zone my lounge so that I can work my day jobs and then film and edit and record podcasts the rest of the time without feeling like I'm Spider-Man trapped in a lift. And I even managed to film white box style videos for my other channel at the same desk as well. Instead of dreaming that a studio would give you a luxury apartment, therefore, I recommend a downsize challenge or using your existing space differently. What are you laughing at? Holly also needs space to fit his team at home. More on that later, especially if you're a content creator or freelancer like me. Robert Downey Jr. apparently had five trailers by the zenith of making the Avengers. King Holly has talked about Downeytown before. I don't have this quote to hand, which is unusual for me because I have a second brain, if you know what that is, or I can do an instalment on that in future if you're interested. How much it costs if Holly has his own Holland Town these days is really how long is a piece of string because you can kit out a trailer with a spec in the millions of dollars. I think Holland Town is a real place, but never mind. Does hearing about Downeytown make you wish you had your own Downeytown? What we have here is possibly a case of can open, wolfsbane everywhere. Like an open can of worms, only more toxic. And instead of wolfsbane, 
The mistake is spraying thoughts everywhere that we need more luxury without questioning the purpose behind that. The strongest version of yourself is yourself. Just ask yourself, when will enough be enough? Every time I successfully negotiated a pay rise in the past, I'd just be thinking about the next pay rise the next day because you can keep moving the goalposts forever. And because ultimately I realized I was using my salary to try and heal being unhappy about having no freedom over my time or the work that I was doing to generate profit for someone else. But I want all other things. Ah uh, yes, my evil twin Bersy the third, who contributes nothing to the bills but loves collecting, is back on my shoulder encouraging me to spend. And that's okay, because it's a misconception that all marketing is bad. I know what my spending priorities are, so I'm not a sour wolf. So long as something solves a valuable problem for me and I can choose to invest my money so I've got skin in the game. Don't be such a sour wolf. One thing that's become a spending priority for me is services that make content creation easier or hiring anyone who has skills that I don't to save me time. Films cost a huge amount of labour because studios hire lots of services and skills to make films as quickly as possible. You could probably play all of Endgame in the time it takes to play the end credits of Cherry and Cherry only cost 40 million dollars to make. Holly's dad Dominic Holland has alluded to this on his podcast before. I'm surprised this guy is to me. I was out in America with Tom doing one of the sessions. I was chatting to a lady who was a big noise in the studio and uh, I was watching Tom do it on the dining with the two directors and I said to the lady just sort of, no, no, out of injury, just sort of no more past the time and said, so you know, what happens between now and me next see Tom, right naively? And she said, well, 600 people a day work on this movie every day, two years. One thing that inflates staffing budgets though is plus ones or in the case of some actors, having an entourage of friends with made-up job titles. Brother Harry seems to be on Holly's payroll these days as his assistant, which used to be his best friend Harrison's job. No, I don't need to put money in the swear jar for mentioning the name Harry again. For once, I'm not talking about Harry Styles. I just said Harry Styles again. For sake. Strict instructions not to swear, but I'm from England, it's what I do, it's what we do. I also sincerely hope that Harry was on the payroll in the past as some kind of official videographer or content director for Holly's Instagram. For each press tour promoting the current Spider-Man era, it seems Harry has been making short promo films of their trips, so it implies Holly got his brother testing his skills ahead of their future career as joint directors when Holly's ready to do less acting. Harry's promo films of all the press tours Holly's done also demonstrate the sheer costs involved when travel has no limits. Either there's a big movie going community in Bali or they just really wanted to go surfing. Of course that was all before the events of 2020. For the Spider-Man 3 release in December 2021 however, a normal press tour is expected, as is true for King Holly's other big Sony movie Uncharted, which was delayed till February 2022 precisely so it can have a premiere and promotion more like old times. This isn't an area where studios will cut costs by keeping actors at home if they don't have to, as they only get one big opportunity to market a tentpole movie obviously, and it's often money well spent or you wouldn't be here with me right now. The second reason Holly needs decent digs is that working from home means needing space for his hair and makeup artist, and his brother slash assistant, and his dialect coach, and his costumer. Most of us though can get the help we need to generate more profit by either paying for software that's going to make our output better, or we can hire a remote virtual assistant for as little as 5 hours a month. Or don't. You do you boo. I'm not telling you what to spend. These are just ideas. As Peter Parker would say, I don't want to go, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to zane on you yet. One last thing before the last thing, because whenever I say one last thing, what I usually mean is I'm going to think of something else in five minutes that you need to know before you leave today. The first last thing is we can reunite in the next instalment if you join the mailing list for updates on new videos and podcasts from Say Bugger Bear, because places like YouTube want to control your consumption for you which means they don't always show you more from a creator even though you clicked like and stayed this far because they're more interested in pushing you the latest viral thing. The second last thing is that there is sometimes a third and fourth thing to wrap this all up, so hang tight. I mentioned at the start the studio includes Holly's travel too. Today relates to a previous Save Like a Bear video about private jets, so definitely check that out if you're curious as to what King Holly and other high flyers get up to in the sky. P.S. It still involves a Spider-Man suit. I don't think they come with private jets as standard though. Coming up, I'm going to cover what it's like to be a movie star from a personal finance perspective and how to use that as motivation rather than a reason to open a window nearby and jump out without your web shooters. So don't be a stranger and vote for that if we're on the same page or the same window ledge or balcony, I guess. There were some other hiring decisions that Sony foot the bill for just for Holly, but I don't have space to include those here. And then we say, well, why do I want that thing? When you answer that question, you find out that it's usually a desired feeling that you believe that that thing will give you. That's the do have 
be model. Like once I have this thing, I will be successful or I will feel successful. If you believe that this thing is going to make you feel a certain way, you would only know that if you felt that way in the past, which means you have access to that now. You can choose to feel that right now. And that's the be, do, have. Besides Amy Porterfield's podcast, James Wedmore discusses chasing feelings and money blocks in other appearances too. Often recreating a feeling is as easy as the luxury of putting on your favourite DVD or speaking to your favourite person. Movies cost so much to make because studios spend a mahoosive amount on housing, travel, staffing and remedies for chafing from costumes. Also that they can make us feel good and less like life is chafing us. I have a confession to make. I don't know what the budget is for Spider-Man 3 but I assume it's north or far from home's budget of $160 million because studios do believe bigger is better and have the box office records to back that up. The thing is, when you get to talking about numbers of that size, it all becomes much of a muchness. We're making progress now. Learning this stuff isn't about wishing you were someone else somewhere else. Instead, what valuable skills could you learn so that you get to a point where you either choose to do whatever you want anyway, or you can command someone else to spend on your learning. I love having studios pay for me to learn new things. Holly could have asked for any number of perks, but he asked for Sony to spend on something that helps him do the job he's doing, but it's also an investment in his future. That's why if I make any money from my content, I plan to reinvest it in making even better content to serve you. The almost final last thing is that there's always another segment after this. If in doubt, I am the gift that keeps on giving. Before that, if anything from today felt like it might help get your finances down to a T, then please consider sharing this with a significant otter who might also get their finances down to a T as a result because our financial futures are important or comment if you can't seem to get your finances down to a T so that I or the YouTube community can answer your question. It's time for another edition of What Is This Tom I can swear, can I? Where King Holly is going to demonstrate again that we're capable of more than we think. Go forth. Don't you have an elsewhere to be? 